Hi everyone, this is Olivia. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting with Ollie. Look what I've done today. And I hung it here outside on my tree, my little beehive. I hope that you all like it and that you give it a try. And if you will please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, hit the like and comments. And most important, hit the notification button, uh, little bell, that'll let you know when I have another craft coming out. So I hope you like my, my little craft here today, guys. I think it came out beautiful. All right, guys, the materials for this uh, hive is very simple. I'm going to be using this uh, gold egg that I got from Dollar Tree. I got it for $5 and this rope. I'm using white rope because I wanted to make it different from the others that I've done. And for the little bees, all you need is just two little uh, beads like these. I think these are four millimeter, I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure exactly the size, but this is the size that I'm using. I don't know if you can tell by putting it by my hand how big they are. And you need to spray paint them yellow. And of course some wire to hold the beads together. All right. So let's get started here. I'm going to start with the this egg I'm just going to remove all the things that it has this little handle here and of course take out the eggs that are in there okay um, this is a rope that I'm using um, it's the it's called a nautical rope and it's it comes in two sizes uh, there's a thinner one and this thick one here that I'm using here. Um, I do the tag away. This one is the one that says that it's 6.8 feet. And that's a... Uh, the other one comes in a longer strand, but it's thinner. So this is the one that I'm using and it's already taped for you on the end. So let me just turn this to the side like this and I'm going to start, of course down here. Let me take off that tape. It has that tape there to protect. Alright, so now I'm just going to just start gluing this on here all the way around. And uh, this will be the simple part of the project, guys. It's really easy to make this. Um, I know that these beehives have been made so many times often, but I always like to change it up and I noticed uh, everybody does it in that nautical rope, the that uh, jute rope looking one. And I wanted to make it in white, just to be a little bit different. So if you can go to your Dollar Tree and find this rope, that'll be even better. Um, I had to travel a distance to uh, Dollar Tree that's not in my town. The one in my where I live, uh, that Dollar Tree doesn't have very much. Well, it does, but it, I don't know. It's it's uh, not well kept. I think it has to do with management. And uh, so I went about 30 miles out of my city to another Dollar Tree, and and that city has like five different Dollar Trees. And I said, I'm going to try all the Dollar Trees in that area and see what happens. But lucky, I went to the first Dollar Tree and there they were. So I grabbed a whole bunch of these. This size of uh, rope and this color, this white one. So as you see, all I'm doing is just going around and around, guys. Um, and until I get to the top. When I get to the top, I'll come back to show you. Um, what to do? You know what? I think I'm. I, sh I think I should glue this down so it doesn't pop open like that. Let me just to keep it from uh, uh, opening up. I don't know what's gonna happen when I get to that area when I am gluing the rope, so it doesn't pop open. I'm just putting some glue right there, and it's supposed to just snap on. But that glue is going to hold it now in place so it won't be popping up anymore. 
It's a pretty decent price for this uh, five dollars. They had a whole bunch of little eggs in there, plastic eggs, and different sizes of them. It was pretty neat. I'll just save them for my nieces and give it to them. All right, guys. Let me just continue with this. Like I said, I'll be back when I do that top part, um, and I'll show you what I do at, up there in the top. Okay, I'm nearing the top, so before I get there, guys, I'm going to get this. Uh, I cut this rope a nine. It's nine inches long, and I'm just going to loop it together and glue it up here at the top, and that's going to be like the little handle, so you can hang it. So this is about. This is where I'm going to glue it down right here. So let me just add some glue here on this side and this side of that center. <clears throat> And I tape the end so that it doesn't start to unravel. So I'm just going to hold this here real until it, it sticks there. Alright guys, so this is uh, already my fifth rope already. So if you are going to be using this size of rope, remember you're going to need five of these, uh, five little bundles. And uh... I'm just sticking it together here. I didn't take the tape off because when you take off the tape, it starts to, it bursts open. It's like that tape is holding it in place. So I'm, I didn't take the tape off. I, I did that and it, it just sprung open on me. I'll show you in a bit where I, here. I don't know if you can see that. But once I took off the tape, it opened up and you can see how I tried to put it together to make it look like it's one but it's you can still see the little perfection there okay now that it's glued together okay now I can take the tape off and it won't spring spring up on you so it's just uh just so you'll know guys something that I you learn as you go that's always that's the way what crafting is all about guys you you craft and you do mistakes and then you learn from it and then you do something better as you go so, as you can see, I'm trying to take the tape off now. Here. Okay, I'll come back and take off the tape. I'm just going to keep wrap, uh, wrapping this before it falls off. So... As you go, uh, you go adding tape to it. I mean glue here and there. I don't. I'm not putting that much glue. Like every every little section, I I go around, press it down, and then I add glue here and there. I'm not adding glue completely all the way around. Okay, that would have taken forever and a lot of glue. So. It's up to you how you want to do that. But let me just go ahead and keep going all around. Then I'll come back when I'm at the top where that hook is. Alright guys, so I have to go on my sixth bundle of rope here. Because I just need very little at the top here. So I'm just going to connect this real quick. And then I'll be done with this area so actually in all you are going to need six bundles of of this rope and uh, at a dollar 25 each it's not too bad because we were looking at buying it when I couldn't find it here in town I was fine look looking at tractor supply and it's just ridiculous the, the prices if you want to buy it by the I think they sell it by the yard where you go measure it. It was a lot thicker than this though, but still it was really expensive. I, I forgot the price. Uh, numbers don't stick in my head for some reason, guys. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't remember about it. I know it's ridiculous. I said, no, I'd rather just go find it at, uh, at another dollar store. So that's why we had to go out of town. So all I'm doing here is I'm just going to go to the very top here and make sure I, I 
tuck it in here really good and that'll keep the this handle in place okay I think that's about as far as I'm gonna go on this right here let me add some hot glue to keep that in place Let's stuff it in there not the album cut I'll cut it right here I don't know if I should let me see if I can go one more time no it's gonna be too tight okay I'll cut it off right here Okay, and I'll just stuff this inside there. Okay, and you just add some glue so it'll stay in there. Whole bunch of glue and stuff it in there. Okay. So make sure it's all even. Okay, that should maybe add some more glue because I get one to come out. Just hold it there until it dries. Alright guys, I'm going to take a 10 inch rope here and I'm just going to glue it together. And as I, like I said, the minute you cut this, it just pops open so I'm just gonna add glue real quick here and make my little circle I didn't take the tape off of this one because it will pop open I'll just hold it here until it sticks okay my little circle is together and I I did put some glue here guys and held it together so that these little strands will stick up but in this area I'm putting it down here because that's where I'm going to use uh, uh, the area that has like a glue drip uh, I mean a honey drip and I'm just going to clean that up a little bit so let me put some glue on the back of this and like I said the area that I had uh, it attached is going to be in the bottom here just form your little circle okay now I'm going to take some uh, uh, black paint guys to paint the center there so it'll it'll look like a the hole and uh, you could use a black marker uh, a vis a vis what do you call those uh, black markers or paint whichever you it's much easier for you so I'm using paint and it'll uh, absorb the paint will get absorbed by that cord Okay, how's everyone doing today on this hump day? Oh, here in South Texas, it's what, 6? It's about 6 something right now, 6.15. Our temperature is in the mid, low 80s? About 82 right now. I think our high went up to 87 today, which is not too bad. It was a pretty, pretty nice day after we had a little cold spell. And I say cold here in Texas, it gets down to the 40s and man that's cold for us <laughs> I don't know up there in uh, <clears throat> northern states or even Canada I know I have some some viewers that are in Canada I bet you uh, their weather is a lot colder of course and when they hear our weather is in the 40s I think that's like spring for them <laughs> but 
I hope you're all having a good day, guys. It's a nice wind, windy day out there. It's, it feels pretty good. Okay, my, and this little shack where I use, uh, where I do my little crafts, I don't have an AC. So I have my door wide open so I can hear the wind just blowing out there. And I feel the cool air come in. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll finish this up and I'll be right back as soon as I'm done with this. All right, guys, I'm done with the painting of that. Let me just set that aside and I'm going to get busy with the bees. And remember, I spray painted these. I, I strung them through a uh, pipe, pipe cleaner and I spray painted them. So make sure you give time for these to dry up, guys. Now, um, I went ahead and had my, my boyfriend draw stripes for me on one of them. So you can see here he drew stripes on this one. And uh, I'm not good in drawing stripes, I mean lines. Um, it's, I don't know why. That's one of my defaults. Even from when I was in high school, I, I had a, I took art. And uh, one of the assignments was to draw the hallway. And uh, we sat out there in the hallway and I was drawing the hall and the lockers. And for the life of me, guys, I couldn't, I couldn't draw a straight line. I would go back, I would go in and show the teacher and she would say, nope, it's still not straight. So anyways, here we go. I strung the two beads together here. And I'm just going to twist it here at the bottom. So uh, that should keep the two beads together. You know, um, I'm going to have him do a stripe on another one so he I can do another bead. But just to show you how I do this bead here, I'm just trying to get this to get stay together. Um, <clears throat> For the wings, I'm going to use uh, this ribbon that I got during Valentine's time uh, at a hobby. I mean, excuse me, the Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Gosh, guys, <laughs> my wording right now. It's, um, it's like a lace ribbon, lace, and it has a hearts on it. And I say, oh, those were perfect for the wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the little hearts out and I'm going to glue them on as wings all right guys I went ahead and clipped out the the little hearts that are gonna become the wings I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue in between Okay, once you put the glue in there, now you just insert the heart and it's going to become a little wing. A nice little lace wing. I think it's going to look nice. Do the same thing to the other side. Just dab a little bit of glue in there between the two uh, beads and then insert the... I got all these glue strings on me and just shove it in there okay there you have the little bee wings it's very uh delicate work guys uh <laughs> it's uh something you just gotta be playing with it it'll work uh, making little tiny bees like this and now um, I'm just gonna draw little eyes on there just get the, the center of where you want the eyes to be then draw little circles as good as you can make them be and that little opening looks like a, like its mouth I think it's 
kind of cute and then for the for the back I like to put the a little piece of this uh, chenille stem I'm going to use my wire cutter okay just cut a little piece with your and it doesn't matter what size it is because you're just going to stuff it in stuff it in there guys and that is going to be its little uh, stinger make it look like a little stinger back there and uh, I wanted to put some little an antennas on it and to do that you gotta use the wire and it's gonna be a little bit of tedious work guys but it'll look cute okay so I did a little curly right there and now I'm just gonna cut the piece off and I did like a little V I think I might have cut a little bit too but it's okay guys so you can try and do another little V a little curl here let me cut a little piece off here I think I okay so I'm just gonna grab the tip and curl it in try to make it look like the other one Okay guys, here are the little antennas and I I kind of like did a little bend there. I don't know if you can see it on my hand. So that area will be where I put the glue so it will be on the head like that. But before I do, I just wanted to paint this black so that you can, you can see the antennas a little bit more. So I'm just going to add some black paint real quick on here on the antennas. All right, let me just add some glue right here, right above its head. And that's the area I'm going to put the little antennas. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of glue on, the, on top of it, just a little stick. Just for extra reinforcement. Okay guys, there you have my little bee with this little stinger butt. I think it came out cute. And I'm going to make another one and then I'll decorate my my nest with it. My beehive, I mean. Okay guys, here are my two little bees that I completed. Um, now I'm just going to set them aside while I add, real quick here guys, I'm using this glue gun with a, a gold uh, glue stick and I got these glue sticks at uh, I think that was a glue that was already there I'm doing this well it's supposed to look like it's dripping Like it's supposed to be dripping honey. Let me lay it down flat. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, my gold glitter now is starting to come out. I guess it had some residue of my other glue gun. I mean my other glue stick. So here you can see how it's starting to look like gold. Anyways, I bought these glue sticks, uh, the glitter glue sticks from Dollar Tree. They come in a little packet. I'm trying to hold this so it'll stay there. Keep it from dripping. Okay just letting it drip naturally need to add another little glue, gold glue stick in there and just a little bit more
I wish I could stop it from dripping all the way through. Maybe if I turn it upside down, so it'll stop there. All right, guys, now I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery and some flowers on it. And I'm just going to take this vine that I had, uh, and I'm going to just loop it around that up there. And uh, I will hot glue it down on space places where I want it. Turn some of these leaves over. And I'm going to be using some some flowers here and there just to cover up the open spaces. Also got uh, also have these uh, little daisies that I want to put some. I think I'm going to put like three little daisies on this side. But I'm going to deck. Uh, let me just glue this down so it doesn't move out, out of that place anymore. All right, I'm going to put some little daisies on this side over here. Make sure you clip the back part because they have a little, just to flatten them down a little bit. And one more to cut off the tip on the back. And here's my third one and there you have it okay guys so now I'm just gonna get my bees and and uh, what I do is I just stick them through the through the rope here try to get the the wire right through there and uh, there you go and it looks like they're floating around in the in the air I went ahead and stuck that one here too let me just cut off this wire down here make them more even and then stick it through here you can see his little tail back there And I have this bow here that I made. I think I wanted to put this flower on there. Let me just cut it real quick. And uh, it's just a simple uh, messy bow, guys. And I just, just the leftover strips that I did from my last, uh, my last wreath I made. I had, I remember I made I made a bow with so many of these, so I had these leftovers. So I just put them together right now and pinned them there. So I'm just going to tie it to the loop right here. All right, guys, here is the conclusion. My wreath is, my, <laughs> my beehive is done. I think it turned out beautiful. And uh, I hope you can give this a try, guys. And I hope you really can uh, make one exactly like this. Bye.